62 years is just for us a consolation of age, not in development. And we are back. I know you have not heard from us, but we are back and better. Yes, Butterbox is back. But let's focus on Nigeria. Nigeria is marking her 62 years of independence from the British rule. How excited are we? How excited are Nigerians? Are we in the celebratory mood? Let's find out. Nigeria is 62. Are you excited? Are you in the celebratory mood? How do you feel? I'm excited, but no Nigeria now. Well, I'm not happy about the celebration. I must be very frank about it. But as a Christian, I will say in all things. We should give glory to God. I don't think I am. I'm, I'm actually not excited for anything. I'm not excited. <laughs> because there's no sign of growth. Nothing is even developing. We are just in hardship. So there's nothing to celebrate about. It's worthy to be celebrated for the fact that we are still alive. Despite of what is happening in Nigeria, we still have to give God thanks. Everything. I mean, look at the situation of Nigeria. What is there to be happy about? Uh, about 40 years, you know from 62 years we were political instability and the all sorts so but 22 years right now we've had democracy so i feel things should be more stabilized but you could the 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 the, the best part of things right now is that so many people want to get out of this country and you have in when you have situations like that it typically tells you that your country is lacking in something your country is not doing some things well so why are people trying to get out? It doesn't want celebrating. Insecurity rates, as on strike, you know, I have relatives who are affected by this, you know. Everything has turned upside down. A lot of things, people are just wasting life because of money. But we are hoping that Nigeria will be better more than it is now. Yes, we are expecting to have a good Nigerian of our dreams. Okay. As Nigeria is now, it's not what we began for this is not the type of leadership or type of country that we all are praying for do you have a personal experience and why you're really angry i do business and the exchange rate does, is not helping matters at all imagine the dollar is 731 naira, so the, the prices of goods are increasing every day if the dollar increase prices of goods will increase so prices that we have told customers before if you tell, when they now return that they're about to buy to be complaining that the prices are too much because I'm not have graduated since over like two years now and I'm still in Unilag so it's not even encouraging me at all well for me I've actually gained some other skills putting that aside and I'm in my music I'm, I'm a saxophonist and also I just finished a course in web development so I feel that work for me better but some of my mates now are actually working some are also engaging in other skills too, which I'm also proud of them and they are also in the inter entrepreneurship so I feel that's good for them actually. So I think I was traveling to the east and I, I'm young, I have to dress, I have to dress nice, right? So I was stopped, I was stopped, I was in a um, luxurious bus and I was stopped. I was searched for nothing because I don't, I don't do this scam shit that they're always talking about. I was searched and I was harassed and I was so pissed and if, I'm, if I try to voice out I know that if, if, I, if I had voiced out there and I would have been arrested or anything, it's like the stress I keep going through as a young Nigerian is not something I'm supposed to go through. I'm just trying to hustle and sometimes I have to look good. Nobody is happy, but we are making headways. I'm sure we we'll get there. It's right for the youth to do the right thing, vote for the right person, you understand? You can imagine some, after somebody spends years in studying, at least pursuing a particular career, after you have come out with the hope that you are going to achieve something with what you've studied after some years only for you to come back as a, with your certificate and the thing will be dormant. Educational system is really suffering and it's, it's not helping. When I was trying to register for like school and everything, I was put through a lot of stress and I felt like the stress was unnecessary because all they had to do was something very simple. Like just, you know, let me just... And then when, when I was at that organization trying to like fill up my tax and everything, People in the, like people that were working there were not doing anything. I was so pissed. I was like, "What's going on? Like, let me just do this shit. Go and like register for what I'm registering for and be done with my day." But it took me over like two weeks just to do something. I thought, I don't supposed to take me like over an hour. You are not planning to jack bar. But as it stands, um, the quickest way to make it up there in Nigeria, jack bar is one of those faster ways. Let's see. Of oh, course, jack bar is the order of the day for every youth. Youth don't have access to the money. You know, a lot of reason why people want to advance. 
career growth you know we can have it here the you know mix of job people don't have access to heat so that's just one of the reason why you see reason people want to jack pass once you leave and you can quickly make some move over there you can come back so for me i have a plan to just go and study make some things get some things in place and come back quickly to put things in place because yes the country is not so perfect but it's not as if we are worse off than some other countries a lot of nigerians are complaining about what's going on in nigeria but they are believing that there's still hope for the future of nigeria all you have to do is follow us on all our social media handles at better box because we are back and better and subscribe to our youtube channel at betterbox.com <laughs>